everyone, I'd like to tell you a story. There was a woman who was standing in the crowd. Her clothes were tattered. She looked faint and sickly. And she looked desperate. She had gone to many hospitals. She had seen many doctors in many cities. But nothing had changed. She was still sick. She had spent all her money on her treatments. And now she was even poor. She had heard about the good doctor though and she came to see him. She knew that this was her last chance, her only hope. So she came through the crowd towards Jesus and in her last desperate attempt, she touched the hem of his garment and immediately she felt that the bleeding had stopped. For 12 years she had suffered, what a relief she felt. Jesus immediately stopped. He turned around and as soon as he saw her, she fell at his feet. But Jesus looked at her with love in his eyes. And I'll tell you what he says in Luke chapter 8 verse 48. He said to her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. When she had touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she had experienced physical healing. But when Jesus spoke these words of comfort to her, he wanted to heal her mind as well. Jesus offers each one of us holistic healing. Are you someone who needs this or do you know someone who needs this kind of healing? So what can we do? The first thing that we can do is pray. When we pray for the sick, James chapter 5 verse 15 says, the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. And verse 16 says, Pray for one another. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You can pray for the sick even when you cannot talk to them about Jesus. Another thing that you can do is visit them or speak to them about their problems. You can spend some time with them. I had a patient who came to my OPD and it was for a simple pain in his nose. And he had come about four or five times with the same problem and no matter what treatment we gave him, he couldn't succeed. And he would still <coughs> say that his nose was still paining. So on his third visit, I decided to talk to him. And I found out that a month before this, when he his mother had passed away and he had lost his job and it was this mental stress and pain that was converting into, could have been converting into physical illness. So something that you can do for people who are sick is visit them, spend time with them, give them a hug or a car, help them with maybe bringing them food or then cleaning their house or maybe help them with their laundry. These are simple things that will really help them. This may bring them joy and in turn bring them healing. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 says, A merry heart is good medicine. Now there may be some of us who have many deformities, many illnesses that can never be healed here on earth. No matter how much money we spend, no matter how many doctors we visit. But we know that when we get to heaven, God will give us new bodies, complete healing of our sinful natures and of any physical illness. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Oh, what joy to be in heaven! What hope we have to never have to suffer from an illness or deformity, to have a clear mind and worship God together. This is our hope in Christ Jesus. Thank you.